Once upon a time, there lived a young couple in a land far, far away. They did not have any children, but they really wanted to have a baby girl. After a short period of time, the young lady was expecting a baby. One day, when she was looking out of the window, she saw a beautiful lettuce garden next door. From that moment on, she could not think of anything else but to eat that lettuce. Oh, divine! I cannot eat that lettuce. The lady lost her appetite and lost an enormous amount of weight, until one day, finally, her husband got so worried for her. He promised his wife that he'd bring her a bunch of lettuce. Don't worry, my darling. I will go and get you some lettuce. But he knew it's very dangerous. The house next door belonged to a mighty witch, and the garden was surrounded by big walls which no one dared to enter. But the husband gathered all his strength and climbed the wall, entered the garden, and picked a handful of lettuce. His wife ate the lettuce with great pleasure and felt a little bit better. But unfortunately, a handful wasn't enough for her. She got a craving for lettuce. The day after, her husband went into the garden again, but this time the wicked witch was waiting for him. Oh dear Lucifer! So you're coming to my garden and stealing my lettuce? How dare you, filthy humankind! My wife is pregnant and she craves for your lettuce. You could have asked for my permission. You know, we are all very afraid of you. I didn't think you would allow me. Please forgive me. Oh, Lucifer, forgive you? You will be punished for this. If my wife can't eat the lettuce, she will get sick and won't be able to give birth. Please, Madam Witch. Hmm. Then, how about the baby? You take as many lettuces as you want, but only in one condition. As soon as your baby is born, you will give it to me. Out of fear, the husband immediately accepted the deal. After a few months, the baby was born. Soon after, the witch came and took the baby away. The couple got very sad and lost the hope of seeing their baby ever again. The wicked witch named the baby Rapunzel because the type of lettuce the baby's mother had craved for was named Rapunzel. The witch took great care of the girl. When Rapunzel turned sixteen, she became a very beautiful, smart, and adorable young girl. The witch put her in a tall tower in the middle of the woods, but this tower did not have a staircase. There was only one small window at the very top. The witch had never cut the beautiful girl's blonde hair. When she came to visit her, she used to call her from below. Let your golden hair down. It's your mother, Rapunzel. Rapunzel. Let her long braided golden hair down through the small window, and with the help of Rapunzel's hair, the witch made it to the top of the tower. This went on for many years. One day, a prince came into the forest to hunt and heard a beautiful voice singing far away from the woods. What a wonderful voice! He thought and rode his horse towards the beautiful sound. As he arrived at the tower where Rapunzel lives, he looked left and then right, but saw no stairs or anything else to climb up the tower. Mesmerized by the melody of the voice, the prince came to the tower every day, but couldn't figure out how he could climb up. One night, once again, as he was approaching the tower, he noticed that the witch was waiting below. Let your golden hair down. It's your mother, Rapunzel. Then Rapunzel let her long braided golden hair down through the small window, and with the help of Rapunzel's hair, the witch made it to the top of the tower. The next day, just after sunset, the prince went to the tower, changing his voice. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your golden hair down. It's your mother, dear. At first, seeing somebody else other than her mother for the first time in her life, Rapunzel got a little scared. You're not my mother. Why did you come here? There is no reason for you to be scared. I heard you sing and fell in love with your voice. I just wanted to see to whom this melodious voice belonged. Rapunzel really liked what the prince said and was not scared anymore. Everything went smoothly, and the witch did not recognize anything. Finally, one day the prince asked Rapunzel to marry him. Will you marry me, Rapunzel? I will happily do. Rapunzel accepted this handsome prince's proposal. 
But Rapunzel did not have any way to climb down this tower. Suddenly, she had a bright idea. The prince started to bring a piece of fabric every time he visited the tower. Rapunzel was tying these pieces together to make a rope. But one day, Rapunzel made a big mistake and accidentally slipped something out of her mouth. Mother, the prince climbs my hair faster than you do. At that moment, the witch realized that there was something fishy and started yelling at her. Not being able to handle her rage, the witch suddenly cut Rapunzel's beautiful golden hair and then sent her to a desert far, far away. That night, the witch stayed in the tower and waited for the prince to arrive. A little while later, she heard the prince from down below. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let your golden hair down. It's me, the prince. The witch let the hair down she cut from Rapunzel, unaware of what was waiting for him. The prince started to climb. When he came up, seeing the witch instead of Rapunzel, he figured that something very bad had happened. When the witch started to set spell on him, the prince stumbled back and fell down from the tower. Thanks to the bushes below, he managed to stay alive, but because of the thorns poking his eyes, he could not see any more. Being blinded, the prince kept walking around the forest, looking for Rapunzel with tears in his eyes. He fed himself plants and wild fruits he found in the forest. He walked so far that he finally arrived at the desert where Rapunzel lived. Suddenly, something unexpected happened. He heard a sweet voice singing. He recognized the owner of the voice straight away. This is the voice of Rapunzel. He started walking towards the beautiful voice. At the same time, he was calling her. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, Rapunzel. Rapunzel also recognized the prince's voice. My prince. She started running towards him. Finally, they found each other. Upon seeing him, Rapunzel hugged her prince and shed tears of joy. Rapunzel's tears with the prince's eyes and all of a sudden, a miracle happened. And the prince's eyes opened up. He started to see again. Seeing this, Rapunzel was so happy. Together, they went to the prince's kingdom, where people greeted them with joy and they lived happily ever after. The End